Hey everyone, so today's video is finally, finally going to be my first impressions video of the Australis All Over Face and Body Tint. I'm saying first impressions with a little like this because this is not my first impression. I am really, really sorry, but I tried to film my first impression on this and basically what happened was it was the hottest day ever and my makeup literally sweat off. Any foundation would have sweat off my face. It literally, there was literally nothing on my face and I just thought it was unfair because no foundation could have possibly feared a day like that, especially not one that is natural, you know what I mean? So I wanted to refilm this because I love the way that this looks when I first apply it, which I'll talk about, and I think it deserved another go because that video, you literally, I looked like this by the end of the day, like it was just ridiculous because I think I don't even know how hot it was I swear it was like 30 degrees it was more hotter than I've ever experienced in my entire life so I want to redo this first impressions video so forgive me I'm sorry if that annoys you but I just really thought that this foundation deserved a proper try and today considering I'm going to be inside at work with air conditioning I'll still get hot because I'm going to be moving things around and stuff but it won't be like 30 degrees in there you know what I mean so this foundation is supposedly a dupe or a copycat sort of product of the MAC face and body the packaging is identical uh, to the smaller size it is 94 milliliters the one thing that I think is different is this is free of SPF but I can see that it's got titanium dioxide in it which is a sunscreen I'm pretty sure so that's interesting. But the great thing about this brand is that Australis is not tested on animals which is awesome and this is in the shade light by the way. I also like the fact that this is really inexpensive. I think I got it, I got it on half price so it was very very inexpensive but I think it retails between 10 and 20 Australian dollars. Which brings me to my final point before we apply this. This is not available in New Zealand. I am so sorry. I have asked Australis like a while back when I was talking to them and they said they had no plans to bring it to New Zealand but I will let you know down below if I found any more information about it but yeah this is more for you Australians out there but I'll see where we can find it online and then maybe you guys can try it out as well. So as always I'm going to start off with a primer. I'm trying out a new one from Doom Logica. This is the Redness Relief Primer. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook you would have seen this one recently on there. Um, and it is a green primer that's silicone based, but that's not important. The reason why I'm applying this is because I never don't apply a primer, if that makes sense. I'm always wearing a primer, so I feel like it's only fair that I would wear one in my first impression, if that makes sense. So right off the bat, when you squeeze this product out, you can see that it is not at all that similar to the MAC Face and Body. The MAC Face and Body is literally like water it is so thin and it moves a lot this one while it is moving slightly it is pretty thick but when you apply it which I'm using a buffing brush for it is actually really thin which is interesting but it is definitely isn't as water like as the MAC face and body and I would say the coverage is pretty similar but it isn't quite as buildable and I find, I find, or I've been told, I haven't used my face and body for a really long time because it ended up expiring on me, but with the face and body if you kind of kept buffing it in, the coverage would kind of start to build, whereas this probably you can only really build it to a medium coverage. I never noticed a scent before but it has a, it has a mild scent for sure, I think it smells like something but I can't put my finger on it. Maybe it's the jojoba because it has jojoba oil in it. So this might not be the greatest if you have oily skin because it's got a couple of different oils in it to make it really nourishing so be aware of that if you are of an oily skin type. So this is one layer all over the face. You can see that it's got a really nice dewy finish to it. Um, over the areas of my face I don't really have any blemishes. I would be happy with this coverage. It is very 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 light coverage. Um, I'd say it's kind of on par with a tinted moisturiser. It's definitely not BB cream coverage. Um, I do like the colour, it matches me really nicely. I do find that I do have to blend it down the neck, I think it does. I don't know if it's that it oxidises or that... I guess it does oxidise really because it is darker than how it looks here I feel like. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Um, and the cool thing about this is that it kind of sets down a little bit. With the MAC face and body that's literally like dewy even after you've set it I find. This is kind of already going to like not tacky but like a skin like texture if you just moisturized your skin it's sort of just sinking in that's what your skin feels like when this starts to set so with the second layer you can kind of start to see some more of your imperfections fading away but you're still gonna see freckles you're still gonna see your redness they're not gonna go entirely um, this foundation is really for those of you who 
either want very light coverage or who have very very perfect skin and just need like a wash of colour. I really like this sort of coverage for days when I'm just putting makeup on because I feel like it. I don't really need a lot of coverage. This is a sort of foundation that I would reach for assuming that it lasts which we'll find out today. So this is what the two full coats look like on my face. You can definitely tell that it's my skin. It literally doesn't look like I have any makeup on right now. If you had perfect skin you could wear this by itself and your skin would just look perfected. Slightly perfected I guess because you can still see all my redness down here. Um, and nobody would know that you had makeup on. I feel like it just looks like a moisturizer. It doesn't even look like there's any coverage to your skin. But there is. It's like a very sheer coating. It's definitely a tint. Like the word tint is so extreme in here. It's not any form of like intense colour at all. If you had dry skin I feel like you could leave it like this. It's dried down to literally like a skin texture. It feels like the rest of my skin. But I will be setting it with a powder, a light dusting just while I'm doing my makeup so that everything blends really nicely over top. Because I feel like even if a foundation is set it still needs powder for stuff to blend. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. I will see you guys in a little bit. Right now it is 9.15 and I'll see you guys in about half an hour. Okay, so I'm running late and my camera's about to die. So I'm just going to do a really quick update before I go to work. The time is 9.51 and I just finished doing my makeup and the foundation looks great. After I powdered it, I used a really light layer of the Australis Fresh and Flawless. You can see it's come down to, ignoring my cheeks because they're very highlighted, a sort of natural matte finish and it looks great. The foundation is slightly darker than it was before, not through oxidation but through the fact that I used a darker powder, but I think it looks great and I will let you guys know at the end of the day how it wore and if I can remember I'll let you know when it started to break down. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in quite a few hours. Hello, so I'm back and it is 5.56, so basically 6 o'clock, which means this makeup has been on my face for eight and a half hours I think or just under nine hours basically. And now that I've gotten home and I'm looking at it in good lighting, I think that it wore really well. The thing that I find really hard when I'm reviewing a light coverage foundation is the fact that it's light. And with most foundations, this would, help, would be how they would look after they fade. But because it was such a light coverage foundation, it kind of just looks the same. I think it looks really nice. There's definitely, not oil breakthrough, but you can see it's starting to look shinier on my forehead. It held onto my contour and my blush really well. Um, I think maybe there's a little bit of makeup missing here. There's some missing around my eyes bits because I've had really bad irritated eyes today. If I look up close, I've got some creasing around my nose and just sort of that, you know, that crusty um, sort of like nose area. But if I wipe it, it just blends in again. Um, it still feels matte. It doesn't feel like some foundations will start to feel kind of, I don't want to say gooey, but you know what I mean? Like it starts to kind of liquefy and break up, but this still feels matte all over. The only place it's kind of feeling a bit weird is my chin. Yeah, my chin is kind of creased and it's got a little bit broken apart, but like keep in mind it's been like nine hours. The coverage might have diminished a little bit, but I, I'm still happy. I would probably still maybe touch up a little bit with some powder because my forehead I feel like is, looks lighter than the rest of my face. Maybe just touch that up a little bit and then go. I think it looks really nice. I'm surprised. I had li like little to no hopes after the first times of trying it. I didn't think I was going to like it the third time but I think now that I've worn it a couple days and I kind of know the coverage I feel like this looks pretty close to what it did in the morning. You guys will know better than me because you would have seen the um, clips back to back. It's hard to judge like thinking back nine hours but in my opinion I think it still looks really nice so moral of the story is if you want a light coverage you're not in a ridiculously hot climate or in a sort of situation where you're going to sweat your makeup off I think this is great it wore really well on me um, it's non-irritating in my opinion the scent is very mild it just smells like something that I know like some form of oil or like food I don't know let me know if you've smelled this and you know what it smells like. So I think value for money wise, it's 100% worth it. Do check down below for some more info. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.